Hello and welcome. This is the second video on linear Diophantine equations. I did mention in my first video, I'm not an expert on number theory or on pure maths. And in order to do this video or video, so I say, that's the second one, I had to look in my university notes from a course on mixed algebra topics on in my first year. Um, I'm sure there's other methods of dealing with equations like this. So please, if you're gonna uh, follow my method, make uh, notes, go through a few examples, other examples yourself uh, from a book or whatever you can get your hands on to and uh, uh, see if you can uh, adopt it as one of your tools, your mathematical tools in your box. Okay, here it is. We'll try to solve 14x minus 11y is equal to 29, where x and y are natural numbers. So they can't be, because of course this has, it's a, it's a straight line, it has infinite solutions. And we have an additional condition, x plus y must be less than 100. Uh, probably sometimes we have to put a condition like this because <coughs> of the minus in there, we probably have infinite solution still with integers. Okay, this is the method for something like this. First of all, you wanna make the coefficients of x and y equal. And the way you do that, you write it as 3x plus 11y minus 11y is equal to 29 and I just, now realize I've got a, quite a few questions. I've picked two that end up with an 11. I just noticed it now. There's nothing special about the 11. Uh, if you look at my first video, it just happened. Okay, so um, so I wrote the 14x, which was more than 11, as 3x plus 11y. And the next thing to say, okay, quite obvious. I can write this as 29 minus 3x. I cannot even write straight, I'm getting the shakes. Um, and then of course, um, oops, both y's, uh, 11x rather. And then of course, I can divide by 11, so I can say x minus y is uh, 29 over 11 minus 3 11 x. And since x and y are natural numbers, x minus y must be an integer on this side of the equation, therefore, that must be an integer. I'm not saying it's a natural number, but certainly it would be an integer. So minus 311x is an integer number. Um, and therefore, um, 3 elevenths minus x must also be an integer. It's not a big step, this one. It's just I didn't like, I wanted to make this positive and this negative. Not that it matters, but it's just purely for looks. So that's definitely the case. Now, the next thing we need to do on something like this is to make this x, okay? If you look at the coefficient of it, it's 3 elevenths. We want to make this 3, um, 1 more than the 11th. And because we had an 11th, for example, in uh, on the previous example, for example, if you had 3 sevenths x, um, what you need to multiply the top to be one more than a multiple of seven. So in this particular case, you can think of uh, three, six, nine, 12, 15. So you wanted to multiply this equation by five, blah, 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 blah. So you have 15 sevenths X it, because the next step is to write this as two plus one sevenths x and you i want to leave that there because uh, as again very bad choice of numbers um i picked 11 again for, compared to the first equation in the previous video and therefore you might assume oh i'm cheating it's something to do with 11 nothing to do with 11. so here in order to make this one more than a multiple of 11 i need to multiply my equation by four so four times actually not my equation this expression is an integer so four times that and what is now four times uh, uh gosh uh, four times 29 uh, in this particular case uh will be uh, the, 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 uh, 29 my brain is misfiring really badly i cannot think straight uh, four times. I'm not making excuses. I promise you. One one six minus. Uh, actually, I'll do it on the next line. See how bad I am. That is also an integer. So that if this is an integer, four times that 
will also be an integer. And therefore, 12 11th x minus 116 over 11 will also be an integer. And if you see what I have written in here, I can write this as 1 plus 1 11th of x. So my intention is to write the x, the coefficient, as 1 over something, like I've got it in here, and some integers at the front. Here's a 1, here's a 2. Okay, and the uh, 116 divided by 11, uh, 1 to 1, 110, so that's going to be minus 110 plus 6 over 11 is certainly, okay, an integer. So I can actually say there, perhaps 1 plus 1 over 11x, split that again, so that's going to be minus uh, 10 minus 6 elevenths belongs to z, and I can say 1 eleventh of x, uh, minus 6 elevenths uh, is equal to, uh, uh, what shall we say there? Uh, let's put that as minus 9 belongs to z. And let's look at this expression. This is an integer. This is an integer on this side. Therefore, in order for overall being an integer, this must also be an integer. And at this stage, and only at this stage, I can name my integer and going back to an equation. So this is equal to k. So I can times now across by 11. So I can say uh, x minus 6 is equal to k. Therefore, uh, not equal to k, equal to 11k. And therefore, that is equal to 11k plus 6. So as I said on my first video, if you watched it, if you watched it already, uh, this is a parametric equation that gives us for different integer values the possible x values that balance this particular equation. So I'm going to write this solution up there somewhere. So let's say we found that x must be of the form 11k plus 6, where k is an integer. And we need to find the corresponding equation for y. And we go back to the original. 14 times my x, which is 11k plus 6, minus 11y must be equal to 29. And we got um, 14 times 11. I will leave it like this. Plus 6 times 14 is 84. Minus 11y is equal to 29. Uh, 14 times 11, k, whatever that is. And then we've got minus 11y is equal to 29, take away 84. 84, take away 29. Uh, 9 from 14 is 5, 355. Uh, negative 55 on this side. And this will divide 11, 11, 11. So we got 14k minus a y is equal to minus 5. Or 14k on this side plus 5 is equal <coughs> to y. So we found another parametric equation of the general form of y. So these pairs of equations now give us the possible solutions. Um, if x and y um, are natural numbers, because of the pluses that we got in there, uh, you can see there's going to be infinite solutions. We can put, of course, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, forever. We'll be getting pairs of solutions that will balance it. And that's why the extra condition is there. Um, sometimes they can ask you for a general solution. General solution is just this, basically, where k, of course, is... Oops is an integer, is an integer. And of course, we cannot put there, um, for example, a minus one, because this will produce negative uh, numbers for x and y, which are not allowed by this condition. But of course, we can certainly um, 
get uh, you cannot uh, sorry you can get still infinity of solution by putting positive integers so to satisfy this condition we're going to start with some values of k k is equal to minus one of course we discussed it that there's nothing there not applies <coughs> k is equal to zero produces x is equal to six and y is equal to five that will balance it k is equal to 1, 17, and y is equal to 29. That gives a total of 11, and that gives 36. Uh, no, it's not 29. What am I saying? 19. Gosh, I'm very bad. I do apologize. I'm not uh, that bad. Normally, 36. Basically, I'm doing x plus y. <coughs> k is equal to 2 x is equal to 22.28 and 2.28 plus 5 is 33 uh, that's 61 so it's okay k is equal to 3 33 39 I'm getting quite tight now 3 42 47 with a total of 70 79 86 and i think we'll probably not applies so that's the uh, four lots of that is going to be 44 it's going to be a 50 and this definitely is already 56 so it's 61 111 total um, and of course that no longer uh, is a solution because of the restriction we had so for this particular equation we have four solution pairs that will balance it please watch my other video um, so you have two examples on this type of equations and please let me know in the comments if you know of a different method or put a link uh, so i can see some other stuff on this type of equations as this is not my area of expertise i'll be signing out and i'll see you real soon with more stuff on maths bye for now